Bruce Springsteen, his early life and childhood in New Jersey. The great state of New Jersey, one of the original 13 colonies, a diverse landscape, and most importantly, home to the pork roll, egg and cheese sandwich. But New Jersey is home to another important staple, one that has influenced musicians across the country, both old and young. And that staple is the one, the only, Bruce Springsteen. With 20 Grammys, two Golden Globes, an Academy Award, and a Tony, Bruce Springsteen has made a name for himself well outside the state lines of New Jersey, with his signature rock and roll style that has left more than just New Jerseyans awestruck. After producing hits such as The Streets of Philadelphia, Dead Man Walkin', Born in the USA, and a New Jersey favorite, Jersey Girl, it is no surprise that Bruce has inspired thousands and cultivated the entire era of the 1990s. Bruce Springsteen was born on September 23, 1949, in Long Branch, New Jersey, to his parents at Dell and Douglas. Born to a working class family that resided in Freehold Borough, money often became an issue for the Springsteen family, as Bruce's father, Doug, had difficulty holding down a stable income. Bruce was the oldest of three children, but was the only male, as his parents gave birth to two daughters. Bruce's father suffered from a string of personal and mental health issues, which became more prevalent as he got older. Doug's problematic employment record and mental health issues caused Bruce to become the victim of his father's resentment, as Bruce and his growing passion for music would often grab his father's attention. It is to this rocky relationship with his father that Bruce attributes much of his success, as he has been recorded several times stating that the pain generated from his poor relationship with his father was the foundation for his musical ability. When Bruce was seven years old, he watched the Ed Sullivan Show, where he was exposed to Elvis Presley, which sparked his curiosity for music. Soon after, his mother began renting guitars from a local music store to satisfy her son's curiosities. Raised a Catholic, Springsteen attended St. Rose of Lima Catholic School. Founded in 1850, the parish community of St. Rose has been a key figure in both the Freehold and Greater New Jersey Catholic community. In 1875, the parish moved to the building pictured on the right. It is here at St. Rose of Lima that Bruce developed into the rock and roll icon that we've all come to know and love. Catholic schools are notorious for being very strict. It is at St. Rose of Lima that Bruce developed a rebellious spirit as he constantly came into clashes with the nuns. Several of his songs produced in the later half of his career have Catholic undertones and influences stemming from his time at St. Rose and his religious background. Bruce was quoted in a 2012 interview that Catholicism had a large influence on his work. For his freshman year of high school, Bruce made the switch from attending a Catholic school to a public school as he attended Freehold High School. During high school, Bruce felt out of place, so much so that he skipped his high school graduation in 1967. Bruce went on to attend Ocean County College for a short time before dropping out and fully dedicating himself to music. Carl Beams, who was interviewed for the Bruce Springsteen Archives at Monmouth University back in 2018, reflected on how Bruce would play at venues all over Monmouth County, including Osprey, the Captain's Garter, and the legendary Stone Pony, while Bruce was still in high school, like many local artists. As Bruce's career would gain momentum, he began playing at larger and more renowned venues, such as Monmouth University, where he would play many concerts from 1969 to 1974. Bruce Springsteen's legacy is felt throughout the university, as it is now home to the Bruce Springsteen Archives and Center for American Music. Bruce was signed to Columbia Records in 1972. Shortly after, Bruce would form the E Street Band and release his debut album, Greetings from Asbury Park, New Jersey, establishing him as a true artist. This was the beginning to a lifelong journey to stardom to become the Bruce Springsteen that we've all come to know and love. 